Hey everybody, it's Andrew, and I want to give a direct message here to Microsoft. Microsoft, I know you watch my videos. I know you don't send me anything. It's okay. I don't really care at this point. Uh, but I want you to do me a big favor. I want you to do us all a big favor and bring this back. What I'm talking about is this right here. This is the Surface Book. This is actually the Surface Book 3 that was released in 2020 and really was your peak Surface Book in terms of the processor, the GPU, the design was refined. Everything was great. You put some modern ports in here. You had a really nice display and you were on the right track. And for whatever reason, you decided to ax it, you decided to discontinue this device. And I think that was a mistake. Now, I love the Surface Pro. I love the Surface laptop. I have them back there. Um, yes, they're great for getting work done. They sell well, they're popular uh, to some extent. Uh, but I think it's time now you bring back this bad boy right here. This is a one that I really love. Uh, and I love this fulcrum hinge that you put on here. So the design was very good. You can see it right here. Um, everything was well built. It had a really premium design. Uh, you put a camera on the back of this and then of course had a really nice camera in the front for its time. Uh, IR camera, that was really great. Amazing keyboard. They have the fact that you could put a dedicated or discrete GPU and this was great at the time. Now you press the button right here. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, that was one of the other issues I've been having with this, but you can then use this as a, uh, a tablet or as you would call clipboard mode, right? And the pen would stick magnetically to the side. It actually would stick on either side and you can use this in the uh, tablet mode. And of course this had its own battery. The base had its own battery. So that worked out really well. And then when you wanna be a laptop, you just put it back in there and the muscle wire, I think is what you called it, or whatever it was called, the fulcrum hinge would, uh, it would attach, right? And it says it's attached right there. It had a really great keyboard on here. And as you can see it here, uh, very nice in terms of the tactility, the key travel. The backlight was kind of hard to see sometimes because of the light gray keys here, uh, but you, you definitely had a nice backlight on it. It worked. But again, with darker keys would have been better. Put a tandem OLED display in this, you'll be in business. Intel CPU, it has a, uh, a de dedicated GPU. It's not very powerful. So uh, when you compare it to modern day, 30, uh, 3240 by 2160. So that is what this was in terms of the display. It was a 60 Hertz display, uh, very nice display. It had the pen, of course, a surface pen here. That all worked well. All this was very good. You even could put the, the surface dial on this. Remember that you could use this sort of like the, the Asus dial pad that is built into the touchpad. You could actually put an actual physical device on this and that would be great. Now it wasn't perfect. The first iteration of course uh, had some issues. The hot bag issue was one of them where the sleep wake uh, was defective or wasn't properly configured and you would have a hot bag you think your laptop's asleep you wake up ed or you come in your next day you open your bag it's like a hot mess uh no more battery drained as it was on the whole time and heating up big time so that was a big problem for you at the time uh but i think overall microsoft it's time to bring this back put in a modern processor i would recommend panther lake Perhaps Strix Halo from AMD would be amazing on this. Maybe even put an ARM processor from Qualcomm. I don't know. Time to bring it back. Try to upgrade this uh, to modern internals, modern specs. With this design, you'd have yourself a clear winner that would really sell, in my opinion. Of course, this is my own opinion. But I hope you're watching, Microsoft. I hope you're listening uh, because I do know I have the pulse of the people. And I know a lot of people what they want. And I think they're going to want something like this and bring it back. You want to be part of this design, lead the way. You want to innovate again. It's time to bring back the Surface Book. Everybody, let me know what you think in the comment section below. What do you think about the Surface Book? Did you like it? Did you have it? Tell me your experience with it or you didn't like it. Let me know either way. It wasn't perfect. They needed to keep iterating on it, keep improving it. They were on the right path with the Surface Book 3, and I think they were made a big mistake by discontinuing it, to, by axing it, and not actually continuing to develop it. Again, let me know what you think in the comments section below. So please hit the like button, please subscribe, please share this video. Don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section below. Let me know how I'm doing. And if you are a casual viewer of my content, why not consider subscribing? It doesn't cost you anything. Help support the channel as we're making our big push for 300,000 subscribers by the end of the year. 
going to buy something like the Surface Book, check out the links in the description below. Yes, you can still find them over at Amazon. You can even get it renewed at Amazon. In fact, you can get a 90-day return period if you don't like it. So check it out. There's some pretty good deals on it. Again, of course, it's discontinued, unfortunately, but you can still get it over there and some other outlets as well, perhaps eBay and stuff like that. So until next time, this is Andrew, and I'll see you in the next video.